Flex United stand with one by two goals to nil against Huddersfield. We got there in the end. It's birthday boy John. Happy birthday to you, Thanks first of all. But what did you make of us today? Uh, solid performance. Like I thought we were better second half. First half was a little bit messy, but uh, mm. they kind of soaked up the pressure and then got it, caught him on the break and we're very comfortable the second half, I thought. Mm. I mean, you hit the nail on the head there, which is soak up the pressure. Yeah. We score after three minutes. We're thinking we should be quite commanding here. We, we, we're, we're not used to scoring that early. We're, we're not even used to scoring in the first half, yeah, yeah. usually. Yeah. But we get the early goal. What you put it down to while we while we had to soak up so much pressure and we weren't on the front foot? Um, I, I felt the team wasn't gelling very well. Maybe they just haven't played together. That group of players mm. haven't played together that much. Um, and, I mean, Huddersfield just looked up for it too, you know. Mm. They're a good passing team, you know, and they just played well and just took us a bit of time to find our feet, I thought. Yeah, the back four looked comfortable. Lindelof yeah, was in there today. Like I know Eric Bailly is back, but Lindelof yeah. looked comfortable. He was passing up from yeah. the back. Smalling, I know he was poor against Newcastle last <laughs> week, and a lot of people didn't want, even want him to start today, but he played yeah. well today. Yeah, he was very good, yeah. And, and even though, as you were saying, even though they had a lot of possession, they didn't really, really have any clear-cut chances. Back mm. four, I thought, was very good. Lukaku, two goals. Yeah, I mean, nice. Matter with the assist. Um, for the first one, and Lukaku just looked bright, you know, for the whole game, didn't he? Yeah, he was great, really good, real clinical with his finishes. That the pass from Sanchez for the second one was excellent. Mm. I've got to really ask good. you this: at VAR, <laughs> <laughs> it took an absolute lifetime uh, to um, to get to the right decision. Yeah, it really. Um, and I've seen it on social media. I don't know if you have. Uh -huh. um, it was like Matter's fingernail was yeah. offside or something like that. What, what do you make of the whole uh, VAR situation? It's it, it needs a bit more time really I think to before we can definitively have a, a final opinion on it but it's got to have some benefits it is like it takes so long it's really annoying so they either got to find some way of speeding it up um, potentially it can be very good I think but mm. um, yeah it was very annoying today I thought and as you said like he was fairly <laughs> yeah I mean that's all part of football like there's close cut, cut decisions like that and you just got to live with them. Mm. I mean, yeah. I've got to ask you about a midfield today as well. So we had a midfield three today of McTominay, Matic and Carrick. How did you think they done? Yeah, that was good. Yeah, like Carrick just did it, did his usual covering and, and spraying the ball around. McTominay was, you know, physical and worked hard. And that Matic was very good, very calm in the ball. It passed well, uh, got around the pitch. You know, I, I liked it. It was good, real solid. You know, I like the 4-3-3 three, three formation myself. Mm. Do you think that's the best? That's the best situation for us. I mean, everyone talks about Pogba playing in that midfield three as well. He was out through illness today. Do you think that's the way forward with I, the three, but just not those three? Yeah, I think so. I, I I think it is, but obviously Jose Mourinho knows better. <laughs> but I do think to play it, we need to buy another midfielder. Mm. You know, to play that in the top top games is fine. Mm. You know, in these games, but. I, I, I do think it brings out the best in Pogba myself. Wednesday we go to Sevilla, who yeah. a lot of people are thinking it's an easy game. Yeah. I don't think it's going to be an easy game. Right, it will right. be tough, especially with the way we're performing kind of up and down at the moment. Yeah. How do you see us going into that? And then again, after that, Chelsea, you know, big games coming up for us. Yeah, they're big games. In fairness, like we've raised our game when we've had to, I think, this season. Um, and we got to rest a few players today. Uh, I'd be confident enough against Sevilla that we can at least get a draw. Mm. But it won't be easy, like you said. Mm. And then Chelsea's going to be tough. Who will yeah. beat Chelsea? We can beat them, uh, but we've to we've to play a lot better than we've play, been playing lately, you know. But it, there's there's good signs. Like Sanchez seems to be settling in. Lukaku's on form. Hopefully Pogba can get back to playing playing well, and you know we've uh, Bailly's back. So there's positives, you know. But things have to come together. I think. Man of the match today. Um, ooh, caught me off, off on the hop there. <laughs> I'm gonna say um, uh, Maric. I thought he was good. Lukaku got the two goals, but I thought for the whole game, Maric was very solid. Thank you very much for yeah. talking to All us right, and cheers. enjoy the birthday celebrations. Thank you. Cheers. Right, Take care.